everyone. I'm Rachel. Welcome to Rachel's Family Table. This is going to be a short and sweet little video uh, about how to make a fun veggie tray for any Christmas gathering when you are short on money and short on time and short on ideas. I'm using very simple ingredients, just some cucumbers that I sliced up and some broccoli and some grape tomatoes for this veggie tray and I'm putting them on this deviled egg holder that I picked up maybe a year or a little longer I'm not sure ago at the Dollar Tree right around Easter time and they were only a book I picked up extra and they have been sitting in my drawer unused and so when I did my kitchen declutter I almost got rid of them and thought you know I could probably use these one day if I had them where I knew where they were at. And so I dug them out on this day and decided that I would fill each of the little egg cup portions with veggies and just do a wreath veggie tray. And so I'm only using green vegetables that I know my family likes like cucumbers and broccoli. So that will give that green leafy wreath look to the outside edge. And then I'm just gonna come in and put the tomatoes around the center to look like red berries on a wreath. You could definitely change up your veggies and mix in peppers or any other um, green color that you want around the edges, some celery and things like that. But I was just using what I knew that we liked in our house. So we just kept it very, very simple and just did some broccoli and some cucumbers and tomatoes. And this was just a side dish for us to have with dinner one night. So it was just there for us. But you could definitely take this to a party as a passing dish. And people would think that it was super special just because it has a little theme going on. But it was super easy and very effortless, effortless to put together and but it also makes you it makes it look like you did a little something special. So no problem putting little touches on regular ordinary food. So I have this little Christmas tree in the middle. This I used in my hot chocolate charcuterie. I got it from Target for $2 and I plan to use it as many times as I can this Christmas season. And so today it's going to hold the ranch in the center of our wreath 
and I will probably use it again on more um, charcuterie or fruit um, plates and things like that, maybe some um, breakfast bars, whatever I have going on this this Christmas season, and I'm going to get my $2 worth out of it, that's for sure. Well, I already have, <laughs> and so... Here, I just realized that I had this open space and all of these tomatoes, and so I thought I would just throw the extras down in there since there's room for it, but I think I kind of liked it better with the open space. I mean, it looks just fine, and if you wanted to um, put in more veggies around the tree or whatever, you could and get more in there that way and with the the color staying uniform like it is it still looks real Christmassy but I decided that I liked it better with the open space to make it look more like a wreath and so then I end up removing the tomatoes and putting more along the edges but I decided just to leave it in the video so I could show you what it looks like with them there and so this is how ours looked in the end and I did like it with the open space in the middle just to give it more of a wreath like shape and so yeah I just decided to add more tomatoes around the edges and I just I love tomatoes <laughs> most of the people in my family are not crazy about tomatoes like I am but that's um I think I ate every single tomato that was on this tray. Not all at one time, of course, but, you know, they all were mine and I loved it. So then I just took some ranch from a bottle and put it into the Christmas tree. Now, of course, you could make your own ranch. You can use the packets and do it that way. But like I said, I was kind of going the cheap way. And this bottle of ranch was only like a dollar something at Aldi's. So I picked it up. And altogether, I think I only paid around $5, maybe five and some change to make this. Um, a little more if you count the dollar store plate that I put it on. And this little scrap of ribbon I'm adding to kind of make a bow and make it look more, yeah, that's really crooked, make it look more like a wreath. And of course, you would not want to use something that's super glittery or anything like that because it will get on your food and you don't want to eat the glitter. So I just keep playing with this bow and playing with it like probably way too much obsessing about this stupid bow and um just trying to get it to lay down and look good for you all i mean really who cares this was just for us and um whatever but i just wanted it to look good for you all and for myself so obsessively trying to straighten out this bow and it has a little bit of like a plasticky feel to it. So it just wants to do its own thing. And I had actually um, trimmed it off of a bigger bow and made a smaller bow out of it. And just figuring, oh, it's just going to be on the food for a minute. It won't matter. But then I just seem to be really way too obsessed with it. So I get it eventually. There, that looks good. And so I think that my little wreath veggie tray was just darling and it made eating <laughs> veggies way more fun in my opinion. So this was just for us to pick on and stack on at home, but I would have taken this to an office party or a family get together, whatever. I think it's just perfect. And here I'm just showing that if you wanted to substitute out the ranch dressing for a container of hummus or something like that, that also looks nice too. Next I'm showing how I made this Christmas tree charcuterie. Um, yeah, everything's a charcuterie now. Have you noticed that? Like back in my day, we just called it a veggie tray a meat and cheese tray or a fruit plate but okay so now we're doing charcuterie so i'm i'm with it so <laughs> i'm starting off by laying down my cucumbers and my carrots and my cucumbers are really really crooked right now but i think i do get the get them straightened out so anybody who has odd just hang in there i'm gonna fix it so i'm just gonna lay out my cucumbers and then my carrots so that they look like um the little 
different layers that you see in a Christmas tree. So I want to do a little bit shorter of a stripe of carrots than my cucumbers, just so that I will eventually get that Christmas tree shape in the end. And I'm coming back in with some broccoli, and then I will bring in some of those grape tomatoes and do a next layer a little shorter than the broccoli was and then just go back in with some cucumbers and just keep it going until you get that tree shaped at the top and you have different layers so it looks like different decorations on a tree and i'm just going to fill in where needed with the veggies so that it looks a little more shaped like a tree. And so I'm trying to make like a stump with those tomatoes. And oh, it looks really crooked. And it is crooked. And I'm okay with that. But you can definitely work on your tree till you get it more perfect if that's what you need. But it's not what I need. So this is going to do it for me. And I added my little bow at the top thinking it would look more like a tree. But I do decide to take it off and just move it over to the side so that you can see that one little tomato on top and I think this is a darling and it's small but it's fun and we enjoyed it there now that makes me happy well maybe we'll just scoochie that in there a little bit too and add another one and see I told you that it was going to look just fine in the end and that's all there is to this charcuterie now, if you don't have a board to make this on, you could always just cover a cookie sheet with some tin foil and do it like that or whatever floats your boat. You do not have to have a wooden charcuterie board or whatever. This is a board that my son made in wood shop when he was in high school and I just love it and it's pretty much what I use it for. I never cut anything on it. I don't know why. It is a cutting board, but I will not use it to cut anything. It just ultimately has become my charcuterie board but I would definitely just make this on a piece of wax paper if it came down to it <laughs> and it would be fine and I'm just going to put out a little set of tongs and it's good to go all you need to do now is just set out your dipping sauces or hummus or whatever you like thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this super simple Christmas inspiration